I think we've all learnt something today. Anything can be a murder weapon. Which is, if you put your mind to it, anything can be a murder weapon. Previously. Until dawn. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Sadist. To be fair, it was a mixture of sort of horror, laughter, and just unflinching arousal. Oh god, there's another one. Oh! Were you about to I was about to complain that there was another character. I was about to complain that there was another character until I realised who it was. He's complex, thoughtful, and loving. But also, what of this character, not just of Freddie Mercury? I'd love it if you just panned across and you could see the two people stood there just going, w you were in the middle of saying something and why aren't you blinking? I do kind of think it's going to be like the ring and then suddenly they're going to look at us and just start talking. I don't. I think you don't like the ring because you don't like Japanese people. Anyway. What have you done? I'm putting subtitles on. Oh, cool. Like you asked. It is better and more accessible. I am not including this bit. Stop trying to get points <laughs> with young people. <laughs> oh, it is more accessible. Please love me. It's no one cool. even knows your fucking name. No, seriously, I'm over it. And I just want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always... I'm to. over it. I'm over it. I'm over my sister's dying. Oh my god. Fucking... I mean, you're looking... Imagine this is happening in real life, and someone just spoke to you, and you're like, hmm, how should I respond? You're taking... This so is... Long. Right, okay. This is how you fucking respond to things. <laughs> this is... Right. I wasn't going to say anything, but this is every conversation I have with you. Jordan, do you want a cup of tea? You sort of shake your head from side to side and go, it's because What? It's I've actually read that that is what uh, Tom Hardy does to... Like, if he's struggling with his lines, he writes them on his penis. I mean, that's a lie. Um, what bit? For all listeners, that is... Chris does never... <laughs> Does never. Does never. Chris does never do nothing <laughs> or anything. Chris always lies. And Jordan is clearly drunk. A clue four? Oh, Have shit. you missed some? Oh. Shit. What a dick. When it says curious at the bottom, does that mean like... Actually. Yeah. I'm going to say yes. You are a heterosexual man, but you do have a bi-curious... Penis. In fact, no. <laughs> Infatuation with Freddie Mercury. Okay, the clip of him singing... I can't believe I'm genuinely going to say this, but there's the clip of him singing uh, In the Lap of the Gods Revisited, the Hammersmith, live at Hammersmith in 1974. Uh, I don't know what it is, but that is, that is an attractive man. Believe me, life goes on and on and on. Forgive me when I ask you where do I belong. You say I can never set you free, but that's not true. And let's face it, he was not a universally attractive man. He's, I do not think he's an attractive man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> I would not call that perfect. Ooh. I'd, I'd provoke. Yeah, but this doesn't seem no, like... No, provoke. Provoke, okay. Yes, ma'am. Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Why do you need a guest cabin? <laughs> this massive. thing's fucking huge. <laughs> we need a little house for our house. Is that like foreshadowing? Is that how he dies? Where's my bag? Huh? Jesus, don't join bag? an improv group. Oh my God, Just yes I'm and me, for God's sake. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath now. Is now the best time? Once again, they just don't put any lights on it and it pisses me off. <laughs> He's just asking to get murdered. You could not pay me to go to this place with a group of fellow young adults. I mean, it is just asking to be murdered. I think you'd probably quiz people beforehand to find out how much they were in, like, sexually invested. And if they said, oh, I'm a seven out of ten, you'd be like, right, you're not coming. Anyone above a four is going to be killed. Because, you know, you never hear of, like, 
a bunch of murders oh. happening in like an asexual retreat. <laughs> we all went to the woods to discuss our findings on early modernist literature <laughs> and we all got murdered. This is why I'm a medieval academic. I'm thing. not putting this in. It's just because you're showing off. Mike, we're trying to have a conversation and you're staring into nothing. I mean, that is your fault. Yeah, but I'm... I don't want to get too confrontational with her. Because I'm worried that she'll, like, storm off. And she's so she's fucking ripe to be the first one killed. Oh, I'm doubling down. Oh, God. Nothing was more terrifying than you... Like, the sharp intake of breath you did. <laughs> I thought she was going to die there. Why would you want to go to this extra... Oh, oh, oh. fuck off. There's not a lot that can put a man off at this age from sex. Sex capade. But that is treading a fine fucking line. Honey, don't lie. If I said sex capade, you would not be put off. Depends on where. <laughs> Good. 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 <laughs> yeah, let's carry on. Yeah, let's let's remain. Can you imagine if we were fucking fucking like that. that would be like, what the fuck was that? Come on, ah, uh, oh, right, it's getting to me now. <laughs> it really is because. What would you do if it was me? Oh, okay. There we go. Heroic. Oh, you. Oh, just. <laughs> Just wank in the cave and be less of a dick. <laughs> I think I found a catchphrase. Oh. Good fortune. Oh, waking up covered in blood. I mean, I'm guessing that means she's alive rather than dead, though. It, At that point in time. It made a noise, and I don't know what the noise was meant to signify. Leave. Well, nothing says a shrine quite like a cigar. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the point where they stop making sarcastic quips. I'm looking forward to the point where they take things fucking serious. Oh, I don't think this place is up to code. Your life is literally in at stake here. Come on, for <laughs> God's sake. Te uh, no matter this? How, how good the sex is, this is not worth the trek for to go to a little cabin away from the ma the big cabin actually full of people. It, uh, also, there's lib lib libido fluctuates as well. Like if you're into it, in about an hour's time, you'll not be into it. And I think it's different for men and women. I think it's I think it's like a really short amount of time for a man as well. It's like a fluctuation of how much you. And, and the thing is, it doesn't matter. Like, if, if you are, like, like, are at the shops and you think, oh, I fancy some sex, by the time you get home, you're probably not that into it. And I'll be honest, climbing a mountain would definitely take it out of you. Yeah, especially when it's creepy in the dark and you've fallen down a mountain. I really like this sort of, like, the trinity of evil animals. Wolves, bears, reindeer. Mooses. Mises. Mises. Moose. Moose. Moose eye. And is it just like sheep? Is it moose? Because mooses sound just weird. That's a second game. God. Really necessary. A horror film setting is not the place to be chivalrous. Go, ladies first. Does this mean that the, the family owns all of this land? I mean, you're saying that like, oh God, how rich are they? You couldn't fucking give this land away. Wow, they're so rich they own the dilapidated mine. Oh, that's not okay. Hot water's quite a vital thing. And you are going to hook up the hot water and use every last drop of it on that Massive. swimming pool. Also, why, also, also, about baths like that tend to have more than one tap. And also, why are the fucking lights not? Oh, good. Dog, stop licking yourself. I told you to be quiet. That was me, sorry. The taste of my genitals and anus. Jesus Christ. 
is surprisingly brackish. Compatibility test. Put that back where I like, found just, it. Just pop it. Just yeah. on the floor still. As long as I can hear Rami Malek, <laughs> I will always feel safe. Like a Ouija board. Isn't a Ouija board called that because it's we and ya, which are two different European words for yes? I don't know that, but that makes sense. I I know that as a as a th- as a thing. But you don't know if it's but I d- true. But I don't I don't know why. In the background, it kind of sounds like. I know what you're gonna say. It sounds like Chamber that. It does sound like the Chamber of Secrets music. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she looks. <laughs> I've never seen someone look less interested. <laughs> oh, well, I, wonder, I wonder what will happen. Although it will be weird if the murderer turns up, puts a gun to his head, and says, "You gotta ask that girl out that you like." Yeah, duckhead. He, he's got a weird air about him. I don't. I mean, I, his sister's just died. So we can't be like. If your sister. I mean, died, I, I mean, I love him like a like a. Gay lover. Yeah, I love him like <laughs> I, like a lover, but <laughs> but I don't trust him. I imagine he is a bit of a black widow. Like, after he'd fuck me. He would murder me. I mean, you should probably... I mean, sh- are you going to put in all the stuff about when you, like, talk about fucking... Yes. <laughs> Good. It's just a baseball bat. It is a baseball bat. Be- is this yours? Yeah, don't get confrontational about a baseball bat. Especially in America. Is this American you put- flag yours? That's the thing. Put your mind to it. Anything's a murder weapon. Is this coaster yours? Is this that's feather boa yours? The, that's the moral of the story, I think. I think we've all learned something today. Anything can be a murder weapon. Which is, if you put your mind to it, anything can be a murder weapon. Oh! Hey, can you just keep the light so I can see? Christopher. I was scratching my ear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not enjoying this. It's practice for when it's life or death. Oh, fuck off. It came out of nowhere though, and I was yeah. shaking the controller around like a dickhead because I was itching my ear. All right. Bye, girl. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm genuinely heartbroken. <laughs> Christopher, why didn't you get that? <gasps> what? Him. What if that means he dies? Then I can high five him when he's dead. <laughs> yeah, we have been playing for an hour and I need to stand up and clean the shit from my pants. I mean, that wasn't funny. Well, I'm trying to keep up the theme of being a Chris that says something that's objectively not funny. And uh, as creepy floating head politician man uh, would like everyone to know. You're never safe.